Okay, let's go live. It's James speaking, trainingsites.io. Uh, I got a really cool tool from Google that I want to share with you today because it's been saving me a ton of time and it's just one of those Google tools that they've been interweaving or uh, making part of their existing suite of the Google workspace. And I think that's why Google is in a really good spot in terms of the AI race is because they do have all of the other Google tools and they're putting Gemini right into them. And that's what I want to show you today. Uh, in the past, I've done a, a number of videos and specifically they've talked about a tool called Notebook LM. And I'll just open that one up so that you can actually go see it here. And Notebook LM, I know I'm on the left hand side, but you had the ability to basically go and add. Uh, it started off with 30. I think I have 200 files. So you basically did research, right? You collected data from all over the place. You put it into uh, Notebook LM. And then in the middle section, you had access to Gemini uh, to basically do some prompts uh, and work with it. And the answers that you got were based on all of the files that you did. But in this case, whenever you're using Notebook, it's like you may do research somewhere and then you have to make sure that that research gets moved in to Notebook LM. Well, what they've done now is in Alpha, and I don't know how Alpha Alpha is, it's just something that doesn't work 100% of the time, I guess you could call that, as they're flushing things out. But what this does is they put into Google Drive, they've now inserted or allow use of Gemini directly within Google Drive. So what does that mean to you? It means now that when you're in drive.google.com and you're in the Google Workspace and you've got a whole bunch of information, in the upper right hand corner, you've got the Ask Gemini button there. So if I click it and unclick it, you'll see that it shows up. Now, why is this important? If you take a look at my page or for me, what I do is I create a ton of YouTube videos. And in fact, for each and every YouTube video, what I do is I have a folder. And any of the information that I do in the research process, that gets dumped into that specific folder because I'm doing research for a particular YouTube video, I'm curating content, I want to make sure it's associated with the particular video that I'm using it for. Now, I'm doing it for videos. You can do it for courses. It doesn't have to be for videos, but I'm assuming that you have some way that you manage and track information. And I would hope or I would think that it is in some kind of folder. Now, why is this really cool? So what I'm going to do is I'll move myself out of the way here again, uh, and I'm going to hit that Gemini button up in the upper right. And it says Ask Gemini, and you'll see that it says Gemini Alpha here. So again, I'm just telling you that it's an alpha product. There'll be stuff that changes on it, and it doesn't work perfectly all of the time. Now, here's the cool thing. What we've got is I'm in a folder, right? I'm in this folder, 20 Master Prompts. And when this opens up, you can see I've got another panel that opens here, but I've got Gemini working in Drive. I'm not having to load stuff into Notebook LM. I'm actually in the drive. So I can just say summarize the folder and it's going to go through and it'll summarize all of the content of the drive. This is exactly the same as either having to upload it to another tool or move it or assign it to a notebook. It is directly here within it. And you'll notice it's also picking up the markdown files, the images, the PDFs, the docs, the sheets. All of this content is now available to Gemini when it's actually doing the work. Um, and again, there's all sorts of stuff that you can do here. We've got export to export to docs. We've got to copy it. Um, we've got uh, uh, able to search on things that are in here. So this is just a real simple way to streamline or reduce the energy, time, effort, uh, and organizational skills to make sure that you're moving from tool to tool. Now, if you want this to show up, you need to do a couple things. The first one is, is that you're going to have to go to, let me make sure I'm in the right place here. Yeah, you're going to need to go to uh, or get your administrator to go to Google Admin. And you'll see that, uh, let me get myself out of the way here. We've got Gemini for Workspace. And in one of those, we have the ability to uh, add the alpha Gemini features. And you have to turn it on. And once you do that, next time that you go to Drive, you'll see that that Gemini, Ask Gemini, is in the upper right-hand corner. And it gives access uh, to that. Now. You'll see there's uh, you know, a whole bunch of different stuff that's here 
as much as text, we've got graphics there, right? We've got spreadsheets, we've got data. It's not just a summary of it. There's a whole bunch of different pieces that we can use. And I know this one can be resized and moved whichever way that you want, and you can actually open it up in a separate window, which is cool. But I want you to go over and just think about what are the other pieces that I might want to do to a file folder if I'm creating a course, if I'm teaching something. What are some of the things that might kind of come up that you go, hey, that would be a great idea. That would be something I can do of. So, um, you know, let's say, for example, you wanted to get a lesson plan put together. Uh, if you wanted to basically do a brainstorm for an idea, put all this research together, you really didn't know what it was. Uh, here's an example. I'll just do some. Um, let me do this one here. I'm going to do one. Uh, I'll do one here. I'm just going to copy one, bring it over. Let's say, for example, I want to put together, but uh, I want to create some kind of learning plan here. So I can just say, uh, create a curriculum. Better type it properly. And we'll put it so you can see it there. So we got create a curriculum. Or we're going to do syllabus. I don't know if I spelt it. Um, outlining the uh, uh, outside, we'll just say outlining the learning paths, just as an example. So it's going to go and do that, do the think, and again, we've got the tools there. So uh, 20 master prompts, folder content, course description, learning objectives, target audience, learning pathways. We've got uh, simple, intermediate, and complex, and we've actually got the course models uh, done out. So there's just a simple example of anything that you can think of when you're out in another tool where you're having to add files to it, or you're even using some of the other Google products where you're having to go, hey, where did I put that file? Or was that in that folder? Or was it not in that folder? We have now can use the prompts directly in the folder. Now, the other thing that's here is uh, we're not limited to using the prompt. We also have actions that can be done. Let me see if I can open this one up again. We actually have actions that we can do here, analyze a folder. We can also move folders or create folders within them. So if you're having stuff that maybe isn't as organized as you want it to be, we can now start doing things uh, about the folders and managing the folders. Also the gems, if you created uh, uh, Gemini gems in Gemini already, which are kind of like custom GPTs, you can have them work directly on your content right within Drive. So this is just a real simple way to streamline your work and keep everything in the space that you're already working, which is one of the advantages of kind of focusing on Gemini and that whole Google ecosystem. I hope you enjoyed this. My name is James, trainingsites.io. Like and subscribe to the channel, of course. And if you haven't already, please make sure to go to trainingsites.io, where I keep all of the checklists, everything, videos, prompts, everything to do with starting, building, growing an education business. It's there for you. So take care. Expect the best. We'll be right back with another great video.